God because there is no corruption in any sector of Nigeria. In the education sector, it is sound. Men that are wise are in the hands of affair. In science and technology, there is no corruption. Men that are wise with the, from the wisdom of God, they are in the hands of affair. Oh, thank God because all the aides, all the special advisors to all governors, to all uh, uh, to, 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 to all political appoint or all the political appointees. God of heaven has removed the mind, the, the, the wisdom of the corrupt wisdom, the wisdom of foolishness. He has been taken away from them. He has imputed into them from today at this moment the wisdom of God that is from above. The wisdom that is fed from above. It is righteous and it is sound. Able to deliver judgment, equity and justice. Open your mouth and begin to praise God. He is our God. He written, he reigned his shekinah glory. He is our God. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. Open your mouth and begin to praise him. Praise him because we are our the doors of churches are open. We are seeing men and women tripping into church. For the Bible says, For in the last days, the mountain of the Lord shall be exalted above all other mountains. And the Bible says that the people of God shall be running, trooping to that mountain, and they will be running to that mountain. Lift up God's name because the mountain of the Lord has been exalted above every other mountain. The mountain of the church of God has been exalted above every other mountain sector in our nation. And we see the doors of all churches. The doors of the nations of the church have been opened. And I see men trooping into those churches. I see men, I see women trooping to those churches. I see guys trooping to those churches. I see girls trooping to those churches. What are they going to do? They are asking for the God of glory to invade their lives. Lift up your hands because the churches are not empty anymore. The Sunday services are not empty. The Wednesday meetings are not empty. No service of God is empty. People are yearning for the glory of God. They are running, rushing for the presence of God. Lift up your hands for the businesses of Nigeria. They are filled with the presence of God. Lift up your hands and begin to praise God. I see our Nepa. What do you call it now? Uh, PSCN or whatever. I, I, I see it invaded with the presence of God. I see men lifting up their hands in the offices of the BEDs. And then they are lifting up their hands because the presence of God has invaded the nations. Lift up your hands this morning and begin to praise God for that achievement. God is about to do a new thing. That's what the Bible says. That everything that he has done of the old is about to go into an extinction. That new ones are about to come. That when the new, these new ones come, we will forget those things of the old. Lift up your hands because new move of God has emerged. There is a new move of God in your life now. That you can hear God without interpreters. That you can read the Bible and then you understand. That you can open your mouth and just pray without ceasing. That you can go on evangelism with power. With the demonstration of the power of the Holy Ghost. That the lame are healed by your hands. That the deaf are healed by your hands. That the ones that are dead, they are raised by your hands. That the ministry of the gospel of Christ is moving and is growing far and wide. That there is no weapon that the enemy that is fashioned against you that prospers. That the heavens are moving forward. The gate of hell is not prevailing anymore. Yes, that's what we found. That's what we see. That's what is happening now in our nation lift up your hands and celebrate God that's what we have oh I see men and women becoming prophets of God in the marketplaces I see men and women that are in this house becoming prophets pastors every evangelist in the marketplaces they are not pastors that hold microphone in churches but they are pastors in the marketplaces they say to one go and they go they say to the other stop and they stop they say to demons disappear and demons disappear that's what is happening in the marketplaces on the streets of Benin city on the streets of our nation we are seeing the power of god in display lift up your hand and begin to celebrate god i celebrate god because this is the opportunity and the hour that we have to say god we thank you for the new things you have you are doing the last prayer I need you to pray is to lay your hands on your body. Lay your hands on yourself and begin to call forth fruitfulness. The Bible says, and God bless them. And God decree upon them and say, be fruitful. And God decree upon them and say, multiply. And God decree upon them. That, that, that the, word of God, the word of God in Genesis chapter 1 verse 28. If you have it in your scripture, you cannot remind, remember, if you cannot remember it you know, from your head, you can open your Bible while you lay your hands on yourself. And read it to yourself and decree it to yourself again and again. The Bible says, and God bless them. The Bible didn't say, and God cursed them. Every mark of curse in your life has disappeared. By reason of 
this hand that you have laid upon yourself, by reason of this hand that you have laid upon yourself, every mark of any cause that is represented wherever you are representing, by this act of lifting and raising your hand upon yourself, that mark of cause has disappeared. You are not under a cause anymore. The Bible says, and God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful, prophesy. Today I am fruitful. Prophesy fruitfulness upon your life. Be fruitful and multiply. Open your mouth and begin to prophesy. I am fruitful and I multiply. I am fruitful and I multiply. The Bible said that whatever you lay your hands shall do shall prosper. That is, the, that, that, that is the works of prophecy. The work that Jesus has said God has pronounced upon you. And you shall be fruitful and you shall multiply. Everything I lay my hands to do, it is under fruitful. It is under a cause to be fruitful. It is under a cause to multiply. Therefore, I enforce the power of multiplication. I enforce the power of fruitfulness. I am for the fire of replenishing. Yes, God. If you are true praying for yourself, then you can lift up your hands and pray and worship God. If you are not true praying for yourself, you can begin to say, sir, say so. I multiply in the area of my family. I multiply in the area of my ministry. I multiply in the area of my finances. I multiply in the area of my business. I multiply in the area of my politics. I multiply in the area of my education. I multiply in the area of my dealings with people. I multiply in the area of my relationship. I multiply everywhere. Everywhere I multiply. Nothing dies around me. Nothing is frustrated around me. Nothing is hanging around me. Everything I do prospers. I prosper in God. I prosper in the Lord. I prosper in the name of Jesus. I am set on the verge of prosperity. Yes, I prosper. Thank you, Father. We worship you, Jesus. Lift up your hands and begin to worship him. Lift up your hands and begin to worship him. We give you glory. We give you glory. Lift up your hands and begin to worship him. Lift up your hands and begin to worship him. We thank you. We thank you. Lift your hands up. We're going to worship the Prince of Peace. Say, Father, you are good. We bless your name. Be thou our sort of be thou magnified. Lord, you reign. And forever you're the same. I got my two look in my mind. Help me say, my mind. You lifted me. And you gave me a song. I got my two look in my mind. Everybody shout, say, my mind. Oh, come up here, Mamma, si on yen chie mono, help me say, Mamma, oh, nage kele, nago sito, sasso ki buchimo, ani da tsugi mama, mamma, di, mamma, mamma, mamma. Help me say, help me say, help me shout, help me shout, yeah. On your bioma, on your bioma, hey. Say, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Emmanuel, say, your name is God, Emmanuel, your name is God, say, your name is God, Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel,
is God. Your King of Kings, Lord of Lords. Yes, your name, 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 your name is God. Your name is God. Your name is God. Your name is God. Just begin to worship the Prince of Peace and say, Lord God, we bless your name. Worship the Prince of Peace. Yes. morning this morning but I want us to warm ourselves by this praise and that to move to seven persons and say you are welcome to God's presence move to seven persons and say you are welcome to God's presence it's water hey! let's go say Phone in on me right, declaring the counsel of the Almighty Eye. I bring you good news when you cannot refuse. It is well, it is well, it is well. In the name of Jesus, it is well with my soul today. Everybody say, yeah. In the name of Jesus, yeah, 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 yeah. In the name of Jesus, it is well. Hey, it is well. Good heart. It is well. In the name of Jesus, it is I'll come again. I'll come again. Listen now. Listen now. The Bible in my left hand, microphone in my right, declaring the counsel of the Almighty God. I bring you good news when you cannot refuse. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with your soul today. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It is well. It is well. Hey! It is well in the name of Jesus. God, I'm it not well talking about it. With your soul today. Everybody say it is well. It is well. Joy. It is well. Joy. It is well in Joy. the name of Jesus. It is well. Say, listen up. The gospel is not for Sunday morning, Sunday morning alone. Each and every day that the Lord has made, we gotta give thanks and praise to the Lord. Almighty Father, Baba Nevataya, Holy Paplis and Lord Amadai, give at the giving and plenty dollars. Hey, Baba Nevataya, may we give him the bread. Umba, Anna Masia. Hey! Lord, I'm singing. Hold your way, Lord, I'm singing. Mama, see ya. Mama, Mama, Lord, I'm singing. Lord, I'm singing. Yeah, I'm singing. Hold your way, Lord, I'm Lord, I'm
fatanas. Tell me the one who make you fresh and young. Tell me the one who make you prosperous. Really, really, and can't make on. Come on, everybody, make we give him the praise. Lord, I'm a second. Everybody, sir. Oh, now, one more. Lord, I'm singing it. I'm singing, say. Listen on, listen on. Say, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Bring it up. Listen on. You are not dancing. You are not dancing. Are you getting me? This is a soft, romantic song for the Lord. You do it like this. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? Can we dance for the Lord? Can we dance for the Lord? Huh? Wait, do you want to dance for the Lord? Do you want to dance over there? Say, do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? Yes. Yes, I want to dance. Do you want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? Yes. Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Yes. Do you want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? Do you want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? Do you want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You really want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? You really want to dance? You want to? Who am I to the right in the name of Jesus? Who to the right in the name of Jesus? Who to the right in the name of the Lord? Come, shake that body that Jesus gave you. Body in the name of the Lord. You are not dancing. Say, you want to dance? You want to dance? Yes. Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You really want to dance? Do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? Do you want to dance? Say, I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question, please give me the Tell me the one who make you fat and nice. Tell me the one who make you fresh and young. Tell me the one who make you prosperous. Really, really, and God be God. Come on, everybody, make we give him the praise. And I must see her. Lord, I'm singing her. Hey, the way I'm out here. Hold up, it's all up here. It's all up here. It's all up here. Lord, I'm the second her. I'm the second her. From the bottom of my heart, I sing on a song. Lord, I say, hey. Lord, I give you the air. Bota. Do this way. Listen up. Only not yours only quick with him, Nala. You are not dancing, hey! Hey! Listen up! Onye na biyo zo le kwi kwe rem na la Onye na biyo zo le kwi kwe rem na la Onye na biozo le kwa le kwa le kwa. Onye na biozo le kwi kwe mna la. Hey, can somebody scream? Ha! Let's do this way. Are you getting me now? Say, Igwe. Igwe, oh 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 Ig
I have a question. 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 You are not dancing. Hey! Where I come from, eh? The, with the way we rock this thing, where I come from? You don't understand. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Tell me they wanna make you fat and nice. Tell me they wanna make you fresh and young. Tell me they wanna make you prosperous. We look in the young can make on. We don't want to make you fat and nice. Tell me they wanna make you fresh and young. Tell me they wanna make you fat and nice. I have a question. 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 Wait a second. You want to dance? You want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? You really want to dance? Yes. You want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? I have a question. Can somebody shout? Are you? Say, get up. Say, I've got my mind made up. And I won't turn back Cause I'm going to see my Jesus someday You are faithful I got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I'm going to see my Jesus someday Let me say I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Cause I'm going to see my Jesus someday I'm going to see him on the sky yeah. And I won't turn back Cause I'm gone See my G Help me say I've got I've got my mind And I won't turn back Say I want to see my Jesus Someday hey. And I won't turn back Cause I want to see my Jesus Someday Goodbye world, I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin, I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to follow God's way the rest of my life. I made up my mind to follow God's way the rest of my mind. And goodbye world, goodbye world. I stay no longer with you. Goodbye pleasures of sin. Stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to follow God's way the rest of my life. I made up, I made up my mind to follow God's way. Listen now, listen. Say goodbye, world. Let's go. Say, I stay no longer with you. I go by pleasures of sin. I stay no longer with you. I made up my mind to follow God's way to rest of my life. I made up my mind to follow. Listen now. A Jesus name is so sweet. A Jesus name is so sweet. A Jesus name is so sweet. Emmanuel name is so sweet. Say, Jesus name is so sweet. Emmanuel name. Let me hear you say. Jesus name so sweet. Emmanuel name so sweet. Everybody say. So sweet. Emmanuel name so. Everybody say. Listen, I say, when you rock me, rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. Let me hear, you rock me, rock upon Jesus, hey! and when you rock me, rock upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. Hey! And when 
you lock me up upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. You lock me up upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. And when you lock, I lock upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. When you lock me up upon Jesus, Jesus' name, so sweet. I've got my mind. Made up and I'm going to die. You want to dance? 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 Yes, you want to dance? You want to dance? You really want to dance? Do you want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? You want to dance? I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Say, do you want to dance? You want to dance? Do you want to dance? 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 I have a question. Give me the answer. I have a question. Give me the answer. I have a question. Give me the answer. I have a question. Bring it up. When you lock me, lock up on Jesus. And when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. And when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. And when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. And when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. Oh, when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. Ah, when you lock me, lock up on Jesus. When you lock me, lock up on Jesus. When you lock me, lock up on Jesus. When you lock me, lock up on Jesus.
stand up for the King of Kings. Put your hands together for the King of Kings. Hallelujah. Are you happy to be in church this morning? There's no much drama here. We have about um, just a few um, hours of this session before we dismiss everybody to go home and prepare for the um, night video or the video. And this morning in the house, very busy. In fact, it's because of love is here now. He would have been with us in the vigil. There are other commitments that he has to meet tomorrow morning. And I appreciate every one of you for coming for Transform. And I believe you have been, even with the rain that is falling, you wither the storm, the rain to be here this morning. Some of you needed to be at work, but you're here. And so I appreciate every one of you for being here. Please join me to welcome our Father as he comes to give us the word of God. Put your hands together for our Father, for Lawrence, our gentleman. Hallelujah. Can you celebrate Dr. Ben? Please give him a big hand. Big hand. Praise God. Hallelujah. In fact, I never thought you would be in church because it's raining. So that you came means you are really born again. Amen. You do enjoy the worship this morning. That was a big can you celebrate them? That was a beautiful one. Celebrate them. Celebrate them. Hallelujah. What a faithful God we serve. And I want to thank God for our father, Dr. Ben and Kay, for organizing this meeting annually. It's not a joke. Can you celebrate them the more? It's not a joke. Transform. And I'm sure yesterday you were really blessed. You had a long day yesterday. All true, you were here. And that means Nigeria has a great future. But apart from all the bad people doing nonsense, we'll soon take over. And uh, like I keep saying, it takes money to take over. It's not speaking in tongues. Speaking in tongues does not take over. If you don't have money, and all you have is tongues, you remain there. But they even classify you among the mad. And this one is mad. But with what I'm seeing here, this nation has a future. Hallelujah. Lift up your holy hands to heaven. Father, we celebrate your faithfulness. Have your way. The few minutes we shall spend together, give somebody a new name, a new identity. And we promise to give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. Empowered for what? Empowered to lead. Please have your seat. I want to try and play with that <clears throat> team. Empowered to lead. I'm trying to emphasize on leadership. Then the word empowers to lead. Let's see how we can really work on it. Before I got to my next meeting yesterday, many of you have put what I was preaching on. Is it Twitter or Facebook? It was all over Twitter. I said, this boy is here. Wonderful. Is it that while I was preaching, you were tweeting? Is that what we are doing? You guys are wonderful. Before I, people were already calling me and sending me tests. We saw what you said in the Fem Foundation. I said, Fem Foundation, how did you know you were you there? Say Twitter. This Twitter must be very dangerous then. <laughs> you can expose somebody's movement. <laughs> so you can't hide. Hallelujah. 
Exodus 18. Exodus 18. One thing I learned early in life, I discovered that sometimes people who are, hear what I want to say, but don't take it as a, as the order. But I've discovered that most people that you call dollars in school oftentimes become great leaders. People you call dollars who are not academically brilliant often graduate from school. Anyhow they graduate. Either they push them out with pass or third class, but they came out with a class. Often time I discover That goes to push it further this way that people that came out from homes what you call failed homes failed homes in the sense of either broken marriages Wise in the sense that you didn't allow the success of your father or mother to affect you can become successful. But so far, we have more people who came from failed backgrounds becoming great leaders than Then God is talking about people like Obama. Obama's speech he gave in Germany, no crowd on earth has matched that crowd. And as that speech entered the world Guinness of record, you can't really speak. to cry over your parents broken marriage over your failed business whatever area you have failed you don't have to cry over it praise the Lord somebody in the house in fact some people who repeat in the university or in school come out wiser more matured and have what they call the common sense to succeed in life than those who went through school without much challenges. Are you thinking? Huh? Are you? Praise the Lord. However, I want to go a bit further this morning. Exodus 18. You must differentiate between true leadership and dictatorship or an impostor. An intimidator or a bully. Or positional leadership. They call you a manager because you are a manager. 
for a season you were a leader but when you leave that place then what they cost you tells much about who you are Exodus 18 let's look at verse 20 or from verse 19 Exodus 18 19 Exodus 18 19 hearken now unto my voice I will give thee counsel and God shall be with thee be thou for the people to what to God word, that thou mayest bring the cause unto God verse 20 and thou shalt teach them ordinances and laws and shall show them the way wherein they must walk and the work that they must do number one leadership is service to God and to man service is leadership is always two ways if you are going to remain in leadership and prosper in leadership you must understand that it is two ways here we see Jethro giving Moses a very wise counsel number one he said be to the people a mediator so a true leader is a mediator of the oppressed Job put press he brings answer he brings solution who are the oppressed as it may be the weak in the society the less privilege he said be to them God word God word that means they don't know how to get to God get God for them and then bring God to them Take them to success. Bring success to them. That is leadership. And that's what they're going to do. Now, so, in essence, this conference is planned to empower you to reach God and reach man. Are you okay? I'm going to just come and you're saying you're okay. Praise the Lord. But then, you must understand that a true leader is first of all an obedient follower. A true leader is first of all an obedient follower. Now, if you can't take instruction, you can't be an instructor. If you cannot take instruction, you can't be an instructor. And you know it. How many of us here know that? You don't call a pilot, uh, whoever controls aircraft, you don't call them driver. How many of you know that? They call them instructors. Those that train people that fly plane are called what? Instructors. So leaders are supposed to instruct men to fly. We are not teaching you to walk. Because everybody is walking. You are being trained and empowered to fly. And that is how to rule your world. Not to be at the same level with everybody. So, and for you to be an instructor in life and of men's destiny, you must first of all take instruction that will make you an instructor so he said Moses raise men teach them ordinances and laws and then show them the way wherein they must walk 
and the work they must do. First of all, you must appreciate the fact that every leader has a work to do. Now, you don't become leader by faith. Hello. Say, I'm a leader by faith. No, 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 no. We are sitting down. You don't claim leadership. You walk leadership. You don't sit down. You are suffering from the spirit of delusion. To sit down and be claiming, say, I'm a leader. I'm a leader. And you are doing nothing, touching nobody, nothing. Say, I'm a leader. In fact, your case is near madness. <laughs> it's near madness. You are suffering from mental indelis. Acute spiritual decay that has affected your entire system. You see, sometimes if I don't speak such English, you wouldn't have went to school. So someone said, Why? <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Say, say walk now you are a leader where are you going and where are you leading the people to you are in business what business are you doing what is the picture you have in your mind where the business we go to now one of the dangers one of the dangers of what they call it motivational talks is that it make it so simple that you think you can just jump in there. You make it so simple. But leadership is work. Now, before you can really lead people, in fact, before God will empower you to lead people, you must be on the ground. You must be on the ground first and then learn to rise because until you can rise, you can't raise others. And you can't teach me how to rise if you have not been down and you got up. Jesus was able to say, if you lift me up, I will draw men unto my because he had been down. He can raise us up again because he had been down. There's a proverb that says, if you want to give me shirt, I should check the one you are wearing first to know if you can give me one to wear. A case where the one you are wearing is 1942 style and this is 2014. Then, if you give me how to question it. So leadership is a journey. And on this journey, there are potholes, there are bends. Leadership is not a smooth road. In fact, if you want to understand, on your way to leadership, you'll be insulted, you'll be humiliated, you'll be harassed and called nobody. It is the calling of nobody that brings out the body out of you. So until you are insulted, you can't be exalted to lead. And you must embrace this and prepare your mind for it. The most difficult challenge on our way to leadership is that an average man, Pastor Mrs., an average man does not like to be told what to do. Did you get that message? For example, I look at Tony now. I say, look, Tony. Do this thing like this. Like this. We say, I know it. Have you seen such a book before? Somebody will tell you. Now, he has been sitting down there. He didn't know it to do it. Say, Tony, ah, this is, should not be here. Should be he said, I know. <laughs> I know. Meanwhile, he has been there. He didn't do it. Now, you are telling him. He said, I know. Okay, if you knew, why didn't you do it since? Now, anybody you tell, give an instruction to, and he tells you, I know, be careful. 
such people are hard to learn because there's a difference between knowing and doing if you know and do it not you are equal to a man that does not know and did nothing but leadership is this um, Pastor Tony do this thing put it this way he said yes sir even though he knows but the fact that his memory didn't come to do it simply means act as if you didn't know so that next time you'll be prompted to act before you are told but the case where you say you know and you did nothing that is pride growing but you don't know and pride resists instruction One of the difficult things in life is that man does not like to obey. Obedience is difficult. Man hates to obey what others told him to do. Even though you are mates, you are mates, you are colleagues, now get a boys. You are mates, you are colleagues, and now say, ah, Pastor Tony, blah, 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 blah. He look at him and say, ah. In his mind, he say, who are you to tell me what to do? In, it is in his mind. Who are you to tell me what to do? Though he has said it, he walks away thinking his brother, Pastor Tony, will do it. Tony looked at him as he was going. He walked away too and did nothing. Are you getting my point? Now, obedience is not as cheap as it is said. An average man hates to obey. An average man doesn't want to obey. He feels he knows because we're a graduate too like others. Being a graduate does not mean you know. They only taught you economics. You don't know physics. You don't know chemistry. You don't know social, other social senses. So if somebody is speaking, learn that aspect of that person's life. Add it to your own and move on. That is leadership. But a case where you act as if, who are you to tell me what to do? You are not fit for leadership. You are not fit for leadership. Now, many of us normally blame Adam, including yours sincerely. If not for Adam, that sinned and disobeyed, we will not be wearing cloth. God, I hate wearing cloth. That is just a fact. One my, my main problem every Sunday, every day is cloth. And the worst one they will say, wear too much. And I don't like all those words. Just no other. Left to me, just get up naked, go out, go back. <laughs> I don't have problem. <laughs> but they have come out and they say wear cloth. So so they say wear cloth, you have to wear too much. The shoe must pass. So what's my problem? It's me that bought cloth. It's me that has the body wearing it. If you don't like what you are seeing in me, remove your eyes. I'm okay. But they say the thing have to match. Women, your case is more complicated. Because not only do you, your hair attachment must match the cloth, the flower you put on the hair must match everything. I mean, you have, you have a problem, really. 